हेलो एवरीवन माय नेम इज मिनी सेटी टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट हैबलर्स थियोरी ऑफ अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट व्हाट डू यू मीन बाय अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट इज लॉस ऑफ अदर अल्टरनेटिव व्हेन वन अल्टरनेटिव इज चूजन अपॉर्चुनिटी कॉस्ट इज लॉस ऑफ अदर अल्टरनेटिव व्हेन वन अल्टरनेटिव इज चूजन फॉर एग्जांपल प्रोड्यूसर हैज लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेज विद दिस लिमिटेड रिसोर्सेज प्रोड्यूसर हैज ओनली टू अल्टरनेटिव आइदर ही and produce mobile or tablet producer has limited resources and with this limited resources he has only two alternative either he can produce mobile or tablet suppose producer decided to produce mobile and gave up tablet producer decided to produce mobile and gave up tablet and opportunity cost of producing mobile is sacrifice of tablet opportunity cost of producing mobile is sacrifice of tablet because opportunity cost is loss of other alternative when one alternative is chosen in this theory to explain international trade habler basically consider three types of opportunity cost constant opportunity cost increasing opportunity cost and decreasing opportunity cost one by one we will discuss about each opportunity cost now we talk about trade under constant opportunity cost what do you mean by constant opportunity cost in case of constant opportunity cost opportunity cost of producing next unit will remain constant in case of constant opportunity cost opportunity cost of producing next unit will remain constant for example producer always give up two unit of tablet every time he produce one more unit of mobile for example a producer always give up two unit of tablet every time he produce one more unit of mobile in this diagram you can clearly see as producer increasing one more unit of mobile every time he has to sacrifice exact two unit of tablet in this diagram you can see as producer increasing one more unit of mobile every time he has to sacrifice exact two unit of tablet so we can say that opportunity cost of producing one more unit of mobile is constant one most important thing case of of constant opportunity cost is not true in real life case of a uh, case of constant opportunity cost is not true in real life in real life in international trade mostly we use increasing and decreasing opportunity cost now we talk about trade under increasing opportunity cost what do you mean by increasing opportunity cost increasing opportunity cost means as production of one good increase opportunity cost of producing next unit will also increase increasing opportunity cost means as production of one good increase opportunity cost of producing next unit will also increase we understand this with the help of one example in this diagram we have two commodity on x axis we have x commodity and y axis we have y commodity initially when producer increase one more unit of x he has to sacrifice only one unit of y but when producer again increase one more unit of x he has to sacrifice two unit of y initially producer sacrifice only one unit of y for x but now producer is sacrificing two unit of y for x means as production of x is increasing opportunity cost of x also increasing and in case of increasing opportunity cost we have production possibility curve concave to origin in case of increasing opportunity cost our production possibility curve will concave to origin this is our production possibility curve and it has concave to origin now we talk about trade under increasing opportunity cost we have Have two countries, country A and country B. Firstly, we will talk about country A. Okay, on x-axis we take x commodity and y-axis we take y commodity. This AB, this AB is production possibility curve of country A, and this PL is international price line, and this AA is domestic price line. Okay, and before before trade, country have a equilibrium point at G. Okay, now we talk about after trade situation. After trade. means country a found they can sell commodity x at higher price in international market country a found they can sell commodity x at higher price in international market that's why country a increase the production of x commodity and reduce the production of y commodity
सिटी एंड कंट्री ए हैव अ इक्वली विरम पॉइंट एट ई आफ्टर ट्रेड कंट्री ए हैव अ इक्वली विरम पॉइंट एट ई वेयर कंट्री ए इज प्रोड्यूसिंग ओ आर अमाउंट ऑफ कॉमोडिटी एक्स एंड ओ एम अमाउंट ऑफ कॉमोडिटी वाई ओके आफ्टर ट्रेड कंट्री ए इज प्रोड्यूसिंग ओ आर अमाउंट ऑफ कॉमोडिटी एक्स बट कंज्यूमिंग ओनली ओ क्यू अमाउंट ऑफ कॉमोडिटी एक्स एंड रिमेनिंग क्यू आर अमाउंट दिस रिमेनिंग क्यू आर अमाउंट ऑफ एक्स कॉमोडिटी कंट्री ए इज एक्सपोर्टिंग ओके रिमेनिंग क्यू आर अमाउंट ऑफ कॉमोडिटी एक्स कंट्री ए इज एक्सपोर्टिंग बिकॉज आफ्टर ट्रेड कंट्री ए रिड्यूज द प्रोडक्शन ऑफ वाई दैट्स वाई एन एम अमाउंट ऑफ कॉमोडिटी वाई कंट्री ए इज इंपोर्टिंग ओके आफ्टर ट्रेड एन एम अमाउंट ऑफ एन एम अमाउंट ऑफ कॉमोडिटी वाई कंट्री ए इज इंपोर्टिंग एंड क्यू आर अमाउंट ऑफ कॉमोडिटी एक्स कंट्री ए इज एक्सपोर्टिंग नाउ वी टॉक अबाउट कंट्री बी सेम ऑन एक्स एक्स इज एक्स कॉमोडिटी वाई एक्स इज वाई कॉमोडिटी दिस इज ए वन बी वन इज प्रोडक्शन पॉसिबिलिटी कर वो ऑफ बी कंट्री दिस पी वन एल वन इज इंटरनेशनल प्राइज लाइन एंड दिस बी वन दिस बी this b and b1 is domestic price line of country b and before trade country b have a equilibrium point at g1 okay now we talk about after trade situation of country b country b found in international market they can sell commodity y at higher price that's why country b increase the production of y commodity and reduce the production of x commodity and country b after trade have a equilibrium point at e1 where country b is producing o o q1 amount of x commodity and o n1 amount of Y commodity, okay. Uh, country after trade, country B is producing O an amount of uh, Y commodity, but consuming only O M one. Consuming only O M one amount of Y commodity, remaining N one M one. This one remaining N one and M one amount of Y commodity. Country A is exporting. Remaining N one and M M one amount of Y commodity, country B is exporting. Okay, after trade, country B is producing O N one amount of Y commodity, but consuming only O M one amount. And remaining N one M one amount of Y commodity, country B is exporting. Okay, okay, because after trade, country B reduce the production of X commodity. Now that's why after trade, country is importing Q one R one amount of Q one R one amount of X commodity. This one Q one R one amount of X commodity country B is importing. Now we understand trade under decreasing opportunity cost. What is decreasing opportunity cost? In case of decreasing opportunity cost, opportunity cost of producing next unit will decrease. Okay. For example, on X axis we take X commodity and Y axis we take Y commodity. Initially, when producer increase one more unit of X, he sacrifice three unit of Y. But when again producer in Increase one more unit of X. He sacrifices only two unit of Y commodity. Okay, means opportunity cost of X is reducing as production of X is increasing. Okay, in case of uh, decreasing opportunity cost, we have a production possibility curve that is convex to origin. Okay, this is our production possibility curve and this is uh, convex to origin. Okay, now we talk about uh, trade under decreasing opportunity cost. Uh, in in this diagram we have two countries country a and country b and they are producing only two commodity x commodity and y commodity this pl is this pl is international price line and this black one b b1 is production possibility curve of b and this red one a a1 is production possibility curve of a and this b1 b1 is domestic price line of b country and this a1 a1 is domestic price line of a, a country a this a1 a1 domestic price line of country a and this b1 b1 is domestic price line of country b and before trade country a have a equilibrium point a and country b have a equilibrium point at e1 before trade country a have a equilibrium point at e and country b have a equilibrium point at e1 and after trade country a this is before trade equilibrium e is before trade equilibrium of country a and e1 is before trade equilibrium of country b okay after trade uh, country a completely specialize in production of x and country b completely specialize in production of y okay after trade country a completely specialize in production of x on the other hand after trade country b completely specialize in production of y okay now after trade country a is producing oa amount of 
commodity X. Okay, but consuming only O n amount of commodity X and remaining n, remaining n A one amount of commodity X countries exporting. Okay, and importing. O I have amount amount of commodity Y country A after trade exporting N A one amount of commodity X and importing O I have amount of commodity Y okay and country B on the other hand country B increase the production of Y commodity after trade country B is producing O B amount of commodity Y okay and from this exporting O I have amount of commodity Y okay and importing N A one amount of commodity X. Okay, this is all about uh, uh, trade under decreasing opportunity cost. Okay, and this is all about uh, uh, Hebbler theory of opportunity cost. I think you got it. And thank you so much for watching this video. Bye. Take care.